So today we're going to talk about color schemes and how to pick one. Now, I'm going to apologize first for number one, my terrible handwriting, and number two, my terrible, like, color wheel and drawings and stuff. <sighs> like, the one time in my life that I actually need a color wheel out of all of the art classes I've ever taken is, like, the one day I can't find it, which is ridiculous. But uh, I'm going to show you the different kinds of colors, where they come from, and maybe hopefully give you some inspiration of just different color combinations. And I'll show you examples of uh, candy that I have received that has these color combinations. So let's get started. First off, we have a color wheel. I'm going to link down below or maybe even put an annotation of a good color wheel. So this is just sitting here to be an example, I guess. Um, you know, you've got your uh, primary colors, which are your red, your yellow, your blue, you know, and then all your very, not all of them, obviously, but um, a pretty good amount of types of colors that we have. So we'll have like our uh, secondary, the orange, purple, green, all that stuff. Um, I'm going to go into that later. But this is just like the 14 kind of common colors that you see. So uh, the color wheel comes into later because when we start mixing colors um, and talking about different colors that go together, you can look on the opposite side of the color wheel and find those colors. And again, like I'm going to give you one that's even spaced out and whatnot, so you can actually check that out later. So primary colors. Your primary colors are your red, your yellow, and your blue. These are the broken down like foundations of all your colors. You can mix them together and get just about anything. Uh, here is an example. I don't actually have any primary uh, candy. Like, I've made some and given some away, but I don't own any that were given to me. This is kind of like the closest I could get, which was Lost Candy Cuff. And if you just like ignore the top and bottom layer, you'll see that it, it's still got that pink and the yellow and the blue on there. So that's an example of just a primary. So. Now we're going to talk about secondary colors. How do we get secondary colors? We mix our primary colors together. So like orange is red and yellow, green is yellow and blue, and purple is red and blue. So here's an example of a secondary color cuff right here. And then like when you mix your primaries and your secondaries together, which is where you get your tertiary colors, which is like your orange yellow and your yellow green, uh, indigo blue, stuff like that. Um, so I'm not really going to go into that because you don't really need that for candy making uh, because you don't hardly find those colors. And obviously I don't really need to go into shades and tints very much because we're not mixing these colors together. But I'm just kind of showing you where certain things come from a little bit. Now this is the biggest thing that I think that people kind of underestimate is complementary colors. Colors that are opposite sides of the color wheel that work together. So this is going to be your red and your green, your orange and your blue, your yellow and your purple. So uh, here is, which one is it? Okay, this one. This is an example that shows it really well on this single. So obviously you see your yellow and your purple together. And because they don't have red, they used pink, but that's what you normally find. So the pink and the green, or the orange and the blue. So, and then they've got some random ones. But I just thought that it was really nice to find one single where all of those were incorporated together. And then I've also got a uh, Transformers single that is just blue and orange, as an example. So those are some complementary colors. So that's a color scheme that you can think about doing. Um, and then we've got our neutrals. We've got our, obviously, our black, our white. I can't draw white on a white paper, so I didn't do anything there. And then we have our gray. Our gray is, it's neutral, but depending on the shade or the tint of it, it can really be warm or cool color, depending, obviously, you can see the different shades of it. Um, I remember having a, an art teacher who said brown was. I don't I don't, personally, I wouldn't count it as, but I can see as it being kind of warmer, cool, it doesn't really matter, because you can see all just, like, the different shades. So I just put that on there, just because. Um, but who uses brown beads anyways? <laughs> Unless you're making, like, a domo or something. Uh, so, warm colors. 
Oh, wait, wait. I was gonna... Neutral. Obviously, this one. Black and white. That's very neutral. <laughs> okay, so warm colors. Uh, that's gonna be, like, your reds, your orange, your yellows. Um, your green is kind of weird. It usually ends up on the cool side, but de really depending on the shade, like I was talking about earlier, it can kind of maybe be on the warm side, just depending. And, um, also on your red, your red can kind of do that too, depending on if it's a really dark red or if it's that bright, like, orange red. Um, so that's there. Um, an example of warm colors would be this 3D made out of matte beads. So obviously it's got a pink and orange yellow. So there's that. And then we go to our cool colors. Um, cool colors are obviously going to be your darker green. As you can see, the big change between this green and that green. And then you've got your blue, your indigo, your violet. You know, all of those that are like calmer, cooler. Uh, so here's an example of like this 3D. Where it's got like a, a, almost a teal on the inside and then a blue out here. And then... Um, an indigo and a violet and then they just use a nice neutral color and a clear to uh, just tie it all together and I, I really like this it's nice then we're gonna talk about monochromatic I think this is also one of the very not you commonly used ones that you see monochromatic means it is only one color so I used green in this example and so it's just showing the various types of green and like I don't really see this in singles that often like you very hardly find one single that is just uh, a specific color um, so like here's a 3d that's all green so it's got like this uh, almost teal color green and then this uh, darker green and then a lime green with it and on the inside it's got uh, green sparkly and then teal it's kind of hard to see uh, and this lighting, but it's got all different kinds of green in it. So I thought that was really nice, monochromatic. And again, using that neutral color to just kind of bring it together. And then I'm going to talk about just other common color schemes. So you've got your Rasta, obviously. Um, cotton candy, which is that like bright pink and blue put together. One I didn't put on here would be pastel, which would be all your light pastel -y colors. you got your rainbow, obviously, which is pretty much the standby of any candy kid. Um, um, black and whites, so basically, like, you've got your color and your white throughout it, or your black with your color throughout it. Um, watermelon, which is your pink and your green kind of ones. You've got... Uh, commonly a pink and a yellow, a uh, purple and blue, you know, your red, whites, blacks, pink and blue is popular, but um, that's just a few examples of ideas for color schemes. I hope that it this gave you a little bit of insight and made you think about the ways that you put your colors together and especially if you're working with like a toy to make an epic or maybe a perler bead or something thinking about the types of colors that you put together will really really help your 3d come to life like let's say you're working with an octopus or something and you want it to be like an evil octopus like if you want to do a cthulhu cuff there you go that's awesome so with the cthulhu cuff Obviously, he's green, he's got red eyes, and he likes to destroy things. So, you're probably going to want to use like a black because that's neutral, but it's also associated with dark. You're going to want to use probably like a darker green, maybe the reds with it so that you've got those complementary colors. Um, I think I would just stick with the green, the red, and the black, but maybe even a white might be able to go in with that. Um, like let's say if you wanted to make kind of a sadder cuff you'd stick to like your cool colors versus if you wanted one to be out there and br bright and vibrant you're going to want to go with probably your warmer neon colors you know i mean there's so much that you can do with the colors and i think that a lot of people just don't even put in the thought process through it they're just like 
they just pick up a bunch of beads and put it together and I think candy could be designed much much better if we just simply stopped and thought about our color choices before we jumped into a project you've got to ask yourself why are you making it who you're making it for and then associate these things with it and I hope that you guys found this tutorial was helpful I hope you learned something and I will talk to you later